Autism Spectrum Disorder, PDD, NOS, affected me. I had to learn parenting style, understanding how an autistic child perceives their world. This is done through therapy. My life became consumed with appointments once or twice a week. Therapists in the school and nine hours a week in our home. Three hours a week, he would go with other kids to learn how to make friends. Plus, working and having two other sons to care for, it was very overwhelming. I also was dealing with the reality that my son will not be able to do sports, but our trophies will be completely different. I experienced ambiguous loss. His older brother was in a parade, so we wanted to show our support. I was frustrated that my son couldn't st sit still and was annoying others. I learned later that was because he was in sensory overload. Too much noise and lights and smells. My son will flap his hands. Now I know it's a sign of a meltdown. He also doesn't like touch. A parent's natural reaction to hug only heightens his anxiety. A therapist told me that it may feel like a tingle sensation to him. I can only give very light hugs. He is also, like most, not being able to maintain friendships, doesn't understand expressions or feelings. If he starts to upset me, he will not let up because he is not connecting the clues. So I have to intervene with his brothers and say, look at his face, or ask him, how would that make you feel? Eye contact makes him very uncomfortable. I don't always look at his face to talk with him, so I have his full attention. The only odd behavior that you might recognize if you ever met him. He looks at me while talking to you. I also had to learn to watch my wording, for he takes things literally. For example, you can't get water on the floor while you shower. He processes this as why not, and I would take that as him talking back to me. So I would have to say, if you get water on the floor to dry it up with a towel, this makes more sense to him. He's on the high functioning spectrum. Unless you know the signs, you would never know he is autistic. This was five years ago. Things are easier now for us. I can't imagine the stress of being on the lower spectrum. Autism Speaks is very important to my son. Help us get answers to what is causing this, the rise of this disorder. Raising awareness for others who might be struggling. I was so frustrated and thought I failed as a parent. Raising a brat. I went to a therapist for help and was in shock to hear autism. But now we have a great relationship. So we are doing the, the walk this year. I think it's in June. And we are going to hopefully have a link for you below to our webpage to if you would like to make a donation to Team Rockinator, the Cape Crusaders. Um, if there's no link, we're going to put down the website you can go to. Thank you. is autism. Toby, what do we do about autism? What do we do with autism? We fight it.
Autism Speaks. It's time to listen.